what's up my folks all right y'all gonna have to adjust your cameras however they work all right before we get on with this video i want to uh make a disclaimer because i all you guys know this i just don't want anyone to try to use anything against me i'm not in no way condoning anything illegal any illegal activity i don't condone anything that's going to get you in trouble with law i'm just showing you the history of these dogs and i want to get this this out and let y'all see it before i send it on down the river you know um because i'm not going to have it here i for, i did not realize this stuff was still here um i've had a bunch of these magazines throughout my life and this one's from 1970 i've looked up the laws on it it's not illegal to show you this material and i think it would be really good to you for some of you younger guys especially to see how the the meat and potatoes of it was it wasn't always about the famous dogs you know this is this is showing you like what the average of the dogs was about back then and um you know you can make your own mind up on how how it was but uh anyhow so we'll start with that um i've got a couple more stories i want to read to you guys and then i'm gonna get this try to get these done because i can do them myself i don't have to go to my my stepdaughter's house and do all that and it's just been impossible to get there the last couple weeks and i got a bunch of stuff i want to put out for you guys but i gotta go over there to do it this is one thing we can get done here and uh i can let you guys see it before uh before it's sent off uh this is i'm just gonna go down here and y'all can read them as they go all right you can look at these and then i'm gonna leave you i'm gonna start you out with a real good one um it's gonna leave you wanting for more <laughs> literally all right this is cecil collins this match was in 1970 between january through april 1970 this is through the old magazine that old pete used to run pete sparks uh the your friend and mine magazine this was before the uh the journal was cranking out and back then they actually would send in pictures and all it was a lot this was legit now though you friend your friend of mine was legit there was no bullshit stuff like the journal you might as well consider that after you got out of like the into the 90s that shit turned into the mad magazine and everybody was writing in whatever they wanted to write in in there and, you know it was just a different thing but anyhow this was a lot more legit the people had a lot more pride there was a lot more uh, honorable people in the game like I say when when something's not illegal you're gonna have good people doing it and this is back when a lot of good people were in the dogs and like I said it was very popular and, uh, for people to get together and do now let's go on with the story okay this isn't a story this is just the way it was this is history this is true game dog history um maybe one day you'll hear a robot voice telling you these stories okay Cecil Collins versus BL Mayo bitches at 27 pounds Cajun rules. Cecil Pond was the referee. Okay, here we have what it takes to make some fat, very fast action. Harvey Vaughn is handling for Mayo. Cecil is handling his own black and white. Believe Mayo's bitches is called Black Bear. Dan Copps from Jacksonville, Florida took his lightener bitch Peggy down to Halley and bred her to the domino dog of Frank Jonesy's to produce this little bitch. Cecil calls his bitch Duchess. Believe she's a sister to the muskrat dog. Black bitch gets a front leg and shakes as bitches exchange skin holes, filling each other out in some very fast footwork in the first 10 minutes of the fight. Mayo's black bitch gets Duchess down and tries for the throat, but Duchess get out of hope, gets the hold and, cry, and they cry fang, goes up. The referee grabs a breaking stick as he tries to catch a bitch is still long enough to see if one is really fang. Bitches are set down two feet apart and they go in it at full force, Duchess getting at the first hold, working into the throat. Feigned again at 16. Feigned again at 19. Black bitch gets into Duchess's groin and shakes at 20. Then back to ear and face. Duchess is trying for the chest. The little black bitch is also working for the throat. At 21, Duchess gets into the stifle and shakes. Black bitch gets a nose hold and shakes. Feigned again at 24. Duchess works for a throat hold and shoulder. Black bitch gets in the front leg and shakes at 25. Feigned again at 26. Collins frees his bitch with his fingers. Three fingers, they call him now. The bitches, three fingers mean he got his damn bitch, bit his finger. Bitch get, black bitch gets into Duchess throat at 27, then shifts to the hind leg. And then Duchess gets to the stifle, and Black Bear works the nose and to get her off. Duchess gets the lower jaw. Black bitch works her, foot, works her off and gets Duchess down and goes into the throat. 
the Duchess bitch looks worried as the black bitch holds the throat. And we don't have the other page. I just wanted to leave y'all leave y'all with a little cliffhanger. I really wish I knew what happened to that one. That <laughs> sounded pretty good. <laughs> you know, I had to do that to you. Okay. Now let's get into some some that you guys probably uh haven't heard of. Um, uh, you know, some of these I'm sure you haven't. All right. How about we do a little bit of uh I know you all got you know, even you, you young kids have heard of Darn Maloney. Let's go into the Oklahoma area. <clears throat> Don Maloney versus Jimmy Joe. Bitches at 37 pounds. Cajun rules. Cecil Pond, referee. He's been getting along, hasn't he? These guys were very active back then. You know, the, that's why they were the core of the game. The, the names you hear, a lot of them were the, the, the active guys. They were, they were the fanciers. Okay. 37-pound bitches. That's a nice weight. Cajun rules. Don is using a three-time winner, a black bitch, and Jimmy Joe was using a spotted bitch. The Joe bitch is trying for the front legs, but the black keeps her out with skin holes. For the first eight minutes, the pattern remains much the same. The spotted bitch trying for the front legs, and the black keeping her off with cheap holes. At 12 minutes, the black pushes and spotted into the corner and gets that leg. But the spotted bitch gets her off with an ear hold, and they walk around for, fifth, for the pit. 14, the spotted bitch throws the black and works the shoulder and legs. The black getting a cheek hold. Working from the bottom. At 16 minutes, pretty much the same pattern. At 20, the spotted gets the spotted gets front legs and shakes while the black gets her off with a nose hold. At 22, the spotted bitch appears to be the top dog as she continues to work the front legs and shoulders. The black is always in holds and cheeks and ears, working from the bottom. At 27, the black comes up with a cheek hold and shakes. At 28, the black tries for a mouth hold and the spotted bitch makes a turn. Gets the shoulder and throws the black and throws the black, gets into the legs and bites hard. The black gets a cheek hold and walks the spotted bitch around the pit. The black bitch is getting weak and her front legs are in bad shape while the spotted bitch is also getting hot. At 32, the black is down but has a cheek hold with the spotted bitch standing over, getting her wind. At 34, pick up it, the spotted bitch to go. She makes a good scratch and gets the black down in her corner and works her over good. The same pattern, the black is down but has a cheek hold. And the spotted bitch is standing and getting her wind. At 35, another pickup with the same with the black to go. Her front legs are in pretty bad shape, but she makes a good scratch. The spotted bitch puts her down and works her over, going for front legs. The black is in in the cheek again. At 40, the spotted bitch gets in her shoulder, and the black gets the cheek hold again. At, at 40, another pickup with a spotted bitch to go, and she does go, and goes good. Same pattern for the next 10 minutes. At 54 minutes, the referee calls a foul on Dom Loney. Making the spotted bitch the winner. No explanations are given as a cause of the foul charge. Handler shook hands afterwards, even though tempers flared at times during the match. Yep, there's always that bullshit, ain't there? You know, that there has been a lot of, uh, I never knew Dom. I didn't know Dom Loney. don't know anybody personally that really had much to do with him. Uh, and I, I remember that, um, what I have read about Don Maloney said he was pretty, pretty, um, could be hard to, person to deal with, you know, um, that can, you're going to run into those with the dogs too, but at least the referee, if you noticed the uh, thing, the referees were respected and, uh, what they said goes a referee at that, that, that time period could call what he's seen fit. Like if a dog, this is what people don't understand back then. If a dog was down and couldn't defend itself anymore, the referee could make them scr what they call scratch continue, where that dog would have to go back and complete a scratch continue to show it was still even interested and able to, you know. Um, it just, that's that's good sportsmanship. You know, that makes a lot better um, community when you can have good good sportsmanship. You know, when you're always arguing, bickering, fighting, not agreeing and shit, it's hard to get along with people. But anyway, I just wanted to drop a couple of them with you. Um you guys will probably do a couple more, and then I'll get rid of these things. I do have a couple, um, bunch of old pages that must have bust. You know how them journals used to bust open? And I guess it was just all in that case. 
but uh, you know they're all pretty much the same ads they've always had you know but there is the difference I wanted to show you guys was if you this is what I mean about how serious like the older magazines they really got into the report okay um, it, it, it was just like a really detailed report you know you had a real you can almost picture what was happening you know and I'm sure some of you guys are some people are squimishing when they're, they're reading that you know but that's what these dogs are built for they're tough I mean a lot of them dogs you think oh my god they're gonna be eat up and in three days they're they're fine you know what I mean they were they they healed up great and all that back then and then the people took really good care of them animals so don't think that they were just abused okay but I know people can't understand that and never will but this is just the true history of the dogs um all right, I, this is the uh, this one's from '82. Here's a good one. Okay, you can yeah, just in one page. Okay, you, the dogs that made a name for themselves at at a time, you know, over time, were were used working dogs. The dogs that we still use in our bloodlines today. That's what I always say about like going back to the older dogs. If you can keep your bloodline closer and tighter, you're going to have better dogs. I mean, but not necessarily. I don't think the dogs get. You're just not going to lose what you're after. You know what I mean? Um, here's a good one for you. Uh, Lee's Athe and versus Murphy's Oiler. I'm sure that y'all have heard of Oiler, the sire Oiler Jr. and all them dogs. Athe sired by Zanzibar. Oiler at Black and Tan. Eli 3 breeding. Oiler scratches to win in 28 minutes. That's the whole report. Okay. Okay. The fourth match on this page was Horns Lobo versus Groves Rufus. Y'all know who Groves is. Groves Rufus. Two black dogs, so both sired by Townsend Smiley. Lobo picked up at 102. You know, here's one. R.E.'s Hustler and Harris's Crusher. I wonder if that was R.E. means. Hustler is off a daughter of Honey Bunch. Crusher sired by Alexander's Tiger. Scratching. Scratching contest for an hour and 15 7 when a uh, hustler stops. That's the whole report. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Holland's Pretty Girl versus Ari's Brandy. Pretty Girl won't run at first at 28. You know, um, just a lot of a lot of short little one liners. Just a. All right, Chimp Roxy. Casey's Champion Roxy versus Walker's, Walker's Question. Roxy on the bottom for 20 comes back to winning 48. <laughs> you see what I mean? The difference. Um, yeah, pretty much none of these other dogs really made a uh, name for them. So, okay. Hall Snowball versus Chavez and Holcomb's Rose. Harry Gro H. Groves, referee. Snowball, a spotted bitch sired by Geronimo. Rosa Brindle sired by champion Jocko. After two scratches each, an all out war. Rose don't go back at 57. That was a little more detailed, but that was the difference between the old, the old magazines and the what they they in, ended up going toward. And of course, now you're just getting fair fantasy world shit. It's all fairy tales. But anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that little bit of history. And if you want me to do any more of it, let me know, and I might try to take another day and, and put some out if I get some replies like that. And uh, I'll get it all finished up for you and uh, get this get going with something else. Y'all take care and y'all stay safe and keep on bulldogging.